what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so this will be my spoiler free review for the boys season three i'll try to keep it as spoiler free as i can and i'll just jump into it so this season is arguably i would say the most character driven season so far i believe it's picking up a year later we're catching up of course with huey mother's milk all the members of the boys and the members of the seven um the good the bad the ugly so you have huey who's still working for congresswoman victoria newman at this one who we know is the head exploder from season two but certain events of course will then lead him back to butcher and they're right back on the same course of what we typically see from them when it relates to taking out vaught the old-fashioned way so soldier boy is introduced this season and it's a great addition on screen when we see that character and how that character is stretched out and the relevance it has to a lot of certain character arcs and revelations this season Butcher starts taking temporary compound V, Homelander's having a mental breakdown, and other members of the Seven or the boys just have these compelling arcs that really help progress their character growth into this season and just like just a nice natural progression of things we've already seen them deal with from the previous two seasons and how it culminates into this one. So the onslaught again against Vault continues, but you have a lot of division that culminates into everyone coming together for the same cause by the end of the season. The political themes are still timely. I can say that maybe the dialogue here won't always land that well with everyone but it's still well written for the most part there's a lot of foreshadowing shocking revelations you have plot twists again some very highly compelling emotional arcs and highly character driven narratives this time around season three definitely provides a lot of answers to questions that have existed since season one particularly i'm thinking about the ones regarding mallory in my head homelander mother's milk and butcher there's themes of past and present that take center stage here, I'd say, when considering the deep dive that it takes into Butcher and Mother's Milk's upbringing, as well as going into this theme of finding your own strength without unnatural advantages. Huey spends a lot of this season reflecting on feeling weak, which takes him and Butcher on a dark path, but it's all in the name of completing the mission, which we all know for the past two seasons has been destroying soups and exposing Vought. Themes of morality are also present when considering how much of a hypocrite butcher here is here this season when we see him in the trailer taking that temporary compound V and we hear this, the brief comments that Mother's Milk gives to him. How that arc fleshes out or how that arc spreads out across this season I think is going to be something that a lot of you find compelling and butcher going into just butcher and homelander butcher is looked at as the leader of the boys and then you have homelander who's looked at as the leader of the seven each one of these leaders is going down their own separate dark path causing their team members to question their leadership homelander we already knew was a piece of crap <laughs> and there's a lot of tension between him, the Seven, as well as when you go into the people who are supposed to be trying to take down Vaught and the Seven with the boys. You have a lot of tension there between Butcher and Mother's Milk, Frenchie, Kamiko, Huey, and all of that is just a little interesting nugget that I took, took a liking to how they're having these complete opposites, still having a lot of issues internally. So Homelander is determined to take full control of Vought, find his son Ryan, and clear his name from the Stormfront storm drama from season two. He's more manipulative and desperate than ever, I would say, this season. Butcher is just more aggressive with his goal of taking out Homelander, which causes him to take temporary Compound V and join forces with the wrong people. Mother's Milk arc is probably the most emotional aspect of the season, and you're hoping that he won't let any of that pain that you see from his past cost him his life in the present and cost any of the other members of the boys in the present as far as action sequences season three has some of my favorite while it remains a deconstruction of superheroes and the current american climate when the action happens it's always nice to see this show fall into what they're poking fun at while delivering some really breathtaking visuals and you get a lot of that here with the action and fight sequences that happen especially ones that go on between certain characters you've been dying to see it happen between and it's just so rewarding to see it finally happen hero gasm which is one of the episodes in this in this season i've feel like it's going to be a favorite for many people because it includes payoff the stuff that have been building over the past two seasons and it, it just builds into this all-out brawl that i know people are going to be talking about once this episode airs so all the performances are incredible jack quaid is at his best here as huey in this season huey's journey 
from feeling defenseless to learning he's always been strong as a great arc this season there are mentions of a lot of current political trends and that shouldn't be too shocking when considering the nature of the show so far there's a lot of commentary on media lies a train has self-reflection arc has a self-reflection arc that really just highlights the disconnect between people when discussing harsh topics like brutality against minorities it also touches on virtue signaling a little bit which i love because i cannot stand the virtue signaling that i see these days all in all i would say that this season definitely has the biggest feeling of a lot being at risk with a lot of broken relationships that are fixed over time is still very of course timely with this narrative and commentary on media lies and how some people gaslight themselves into believing things that just are not true because the television told them so or because the government told them so it even culminates into a final scene in the final episode during the season finale that highlights how people really just are they have their head in the clouds and they'll bury their head their head in the sand and they have a problem with just following anything that's popular without questioning if this is actually the right path to be taking so i cannot wait for season four i loved everything about season three i would say it didn't start off too too strong to me not saying it's going to be the same thing for everyone but still by the time it got to episode two and onward from there as long as i stuck it out it got better and better it, it, it's prog progressively better um i just wish of course that it just started out being as great as it ended up being by the end of the course so season three definitely one of my favorites i would say is my favorite out of the three i love the revelations that go on here i love the arcs for homelander and butcher i love the exploration of mother's milk and butcher's childhood the performances here are again probably some of the most emotional performances that you've gotten so far in this series the aspect of introducing soldier boy which i know had a lot of people excited about you're not going to be disappointed the way he is tied into a lot of the stuff that's been happening over these past two seasons i think is going to be rewarding and something that a lot of people will be pleased with not saying that everybody will be on board with it but i enjoyed this season overall i would give it a solid eight out of ten i can't wait to see how we go into the future with a season four if it happens i don't know when this show plans on ending but so, you know they keep on finding a, a way to convince me that yep keep going keep going until they convince me not to keep going i'll say that this show should keep going <laughs> especially when you're only eight episodes but let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below i have weekly recaps for the episodes on this channel as well with spoilers obviously but let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below are you excited for the boys season three if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications you can never miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video